Night three of the European Darts Grand Prix, finals night, as we play down from the Elite Eight to your last man standing. Who will it be? Staying alive at 55 for Steve Beaton? What had Nathan Aspinall smiling in disbelief? The same thing that had Yaza looking like this. Could Mighty Mike do it again? Take down yet another title? How about Snakebite? An emotional day for him? Or would it be a diamond dab that does the trick? Champion crowned today on High Roller Radio. Yes, Sunday in Sindelfigen. We started with 16 this afternoon. Then tonight with just eight, the quarterfinals. There's the lineup. Who is your money on? It's been a dynamite weekend, of course, as highlighted here by at the Red Bit 180. With seven more games to come, he says, the total number of 180s thrown is already at 177. Impressive, considering that there were only 179 at the end of last weekend's event in Gratz. We also thank the Red Bit for the proper spelling of the arena in Sindelfagen, the legendary Glass Palace, the Glass Palast. We did have a nine darter today by Dutchman Gerrit DeVos at Unicorn Challenge Tour 7. Congrats to him. Nice shooting. Yes, some top quality averages on show at the Challenge Tour again today. That from Luke Jones, topped by a 109 average from Boris Koltsov. All right, here we go. Here's hoping for some brilliance tonight. First one's up, Ian White and Jeffrey Desvon. And despite being broken in the first leg, this was the diamond show. Responded immediately with a break back on double four, and that set the tone big time. The Black Cobra never recovered. White taking six on the bounce for the complete blowout. 6-1 your final. The diamond averaging 97. Ian White through to another Euro Tour semifinal, said Morgan. Surely he's going to win one of these sooner rather than later. Steve Beaton facing off with Darren Webster in our second quarter, and the story of this one, doubling. Unlike this afternoon when Demolition Man had finishes of 100, 148, and 170, he struggled tonight. You can see the frustration, darting angst. He was scoring well, but Beaton was taking his chances, and look at that, Demolition just 2 for 18 on the outer ring, and it got worse from there. As the bronze Dodonis slammed the door shut, he was impressive. 6-2 your final. Classic beaten in the post-match interview. I just don't give in, he said. I thought he had me by the short and curlies. Great run from Webster in this tournament, said Henry Cheel, although his doubling in this game wasn't good. Happy for him with this weekend's work. Jamie Hughes with a last-minute high five, or at least a low five, ahead of his showdown with Nathan Aspinall. The UK Open champ seems destined to capture another title, and soon is tonight the night We'll see. He is playing with confidence, but so too is Hughes, who took the first two legs. But the Asp nailed double 10 to hold. He then broke for level peggings at 2-2. From there, Yaza took control, landing the showstopper here in the fifth leg. The 1-5-3. Wow, brilliant darts. He kept applying the pressure, too, with darts like these. He got it to 4-2, then 5-3 after Aspinall squandered four darts to break and tie things up. Look at this devastation. But what a response. There was no panic. He held for 5-4, then broke to force a decider. Big moments. He had the darts. But oh my goodness. Match dart denied here on the Robin Hood. Are you kidding me? Aspinall can't believe it. Either could Hughes after he pinned the game winner. Incredible scenes. What an ending. Yaza takes it 6-5 unbelievable. Asked afterwards about making his first PDC semifinal ever, he said first final and first title as well. Nice answer Jamie Hughes. As we get the party officially started with our last quarterfinal matchup, Peter Wright getting the fans on his side. He'd need them playing this guy, Michael Van Gerwen, the dominant force on the Euro Tour. Mrs. Snakebite on hand, cheering on her man, and he brought it early. How about the bullseye on an 86 finish for 2-1? Great response from the world number one. First 
course, the 174, then the 114 checkout, stellar, cracking start. First blood to right, a 180 here to help break throw, the crowd loving it, chanting his name. Back came the green machine with a 13 dart break, but no, Snakebite struck back immediately on double 10. He was throwing for the match, and yes, he did it. Takes down the world champ in stunning fashion. 6-3 your final for absolute scenes. Look at what it meant to him. Pounded his chest in celebration, arms in the air, and no interview. He tried, but he was too emotional. Again, the fans chanting his name. No fourth Euro title in a row for MVG, said Luke Jones, as he loses out to an emotional Peter Wright. Great performance by Snakebite. Guaranteed new winner on the Euro Tour for 2019, tweeted commentator Dan Dawson, and there's a chance that we may get a brand new Euro Tour winner who is also yet to win a PDC title of any sort on the full tour. A lot to play for now. Then there were four, including this guy, 55 and still alive. Steve Beaton taking on Ian White, who's made the final the last two Euro Tours. Can he dab his way to a third straight? Well, terrific start, as the average suggests. Almost 117 through five legs, blistering. He's doing it with shots like this. This double 16 made it 4-1. The diamond dazzling, but the bronze Adonis can play too. Fought back with three on the spin. Double 16 here for four apiece. Race to seven, remember. Make that four on the spin as Beaton took out 72 next. On the doubles, the Adonis, 17 percentage points better thus far. At 5-5, five, five, nervy stuff. White missing darts at the double here, but Beaton also missed double 11. Ouch! Close, but no cigar, and the diamond would break in the madhouse. That was the key moment. He'd hold the next leg to finish the job on a 7-5 victory. Gutted for Steve, said Graham. Those three darts at double 11, they hurt. They really did. Also, he added, the phrase, like a fine wine, it was created with Steve Beaton in mind. Yes, it was. How about the darting nerd living large with the nerdy setup, watching both this event and the BDO's Welsh Open? Mine similar, replied at Ben on Sport, got the European tour on the laptop, the Welsh Open on the TV. Good job, boys. Loving the darts. We pick up our second semi at 3-1. Peter Wright leading Jamie Hughes. He'd push it to 4-1. This, a large part of the reason why. The averages, snake bite miles ahead. It was double five next for 5-1. A runaway, 7-1, your final, convincing and comprehensive. So that set up a white versus right final for all the marbles. Best of 15, the pair exchanging holds of throw to start. White making it 2-1 on a third dart double 10. Then, despite this maximum from Snakebite, look at this. The diamond dazzled on the big fish. First blood, a break in 3-1. No give up in this guy, though. He stormed back with the next two for three all. It would get to 4-4. Four, four. Intriguing stuff. The diamond hit double 12 for a 13 darter and a 5-4 lead. Snake bite replied with a 14 darter of his own, double 19 for five apiece. The tension mounting, the fans enthralled. It got to six all, both still firing. 13th leg, right with a huge body blow. The 104 check out for a timely break. He was throwing for the match. He'd get a match dart too, but no, he missed it agony and white would hold steady on a last dart double 10 wow the drama and yes it would be his day he won the decider an 8-7 thriller threw his hands in the air in utter relief some satisfaction too i'm just glad i finally got over the line he said and that he did Twenty-five thousand pounds richer his second title on the european tour and some bragging rights. For Wright, pretty good run, but a rough ending. Well done to Ian, he said. He's been on top form. Congratulations to him. So, there you have it. What a weekend. What a tournament. The European Darts Grand Prix. You might just say it sparkled like a diamond today on High Roller Radio.